Let's see. All right. Well, good day, everybody. Welcome to another um, speedrun attempt. Let's get it on immediately. Start timer. Let's go. Pause the timer. And pause. All right. They got you pretty good there. Good candidate for an infection. Or a problem. What old pity are you with? Should have mind your own business at the hotel. You got one of my boys killed, you know. Tell you what, how about you do some work for me now? Get on out here. Get yourself kitted out. We got ammo and meds, long rifle, pistol, whatever. All right, listen up, slick. Shit really hit the fan back in town. There's supposed to be a ceasefire, but that's all out the window now. I work with a local guy named Kowassi, street muscle with the APR. I've got my best men out there in the field trying to keep the UFLL from bushwhacking their way across my zones. I guess that makes you the B team, son. First play of the day, I need you to get that rust bucket two door outside back on the road. You take shop class, go out there and see if you can get that engine started. You know you're sick, right? Don't screw around out there. You can't afford to. That malaria's killed stronger men than you. Open up. All right. Okay. Let me just get all these menus out of the way, guys. And after the tutorial, I can become more and more talkative. Okay, two grenades, that's really nice. time we're gonna really bother about the telephone because we need our hands free to interact with the map but you'll see ok 
Okay, med kit. So we don't have any menus to click away on top of this hill. Perfect. Really? Come on. Alright, now instead of driving back, we're just gonna drive to this red zone and get a malaria attack. So that we get automatically transported back to the location we came from. Please, come on. Alright. Perfect. timer and pause stop screwing around you're sick son did you forget I tried to warn you not to screw around here's the deal with the local economy the only currency worth a damn is diamonds forget the paper money I wouldn't wrap a fish with it you do work for the APR you get paid in stone you have now one of my boys, not the sharpest knife in the shed, picked up a case of diamonds and dropped them off here yesterday. He stuck them somewhere in the camp and then went off and took a bullet back to town. Maybe you killed him. Anyway, you want those rocks, go outside and find them. The case has a tracker that you can home in on with your compass. If I were you, I'd go buy some medicine next. Malaria's not a little deal. You might want to head over to Mike. It's an expat bar. Good source for whatever you need. Get yourself healthy and come by the APR office in town. I'll introduce you to Kwasi. We'll talk business. We're done in here. All right. Let's go buy our first weapon. G3 KA4 assault rifle. That's basically the only gun. Well, okay, that's. Apart from the MGL 140, this is the only time we're going to go to the store for anything. to the bar. Hey. It's me, Paul Ferris. You help me out, remember? Please give me the keys. No problem. I can help. See the guy over there? He's got plenty. And listen, you really help me back there. Ask nice. Oh, these people are the stuff. Here's the bloody tip, all right? That's it. That's all I've got. Aren't you going to destroy it? That's what your friends usually do. Wait, you're not here for the tips, are you? Oh, I see the problem now. You can get the pills you need from the church in Pala. The priest there will help you, assuming you make it in time. Just passes along for me. You can't yeah, break a man the way you break a dog yeah, or a horse. The harder you yeah. beat a man, the yeah, taller he stands. You mind, just ask. I mean, you name it, I can... Badass. 
All right, let's go get those pills. A little bit shitty parking, but all right. Hopefully we can get through the bushes here. Nicely. I'm sorry, there aren't regular services at the moment. Oh, you're not well. You should see a doctor before you really need a priest. Did Ruben send you? That's something for me. I would be very happy to give you what little medicine I have in exchange. I think you should take one of those right away. All right. Those well, guys, that was the tutorial. Come back when you require more medicine. Let's go get our first mission. Let's go. Right. Right. Hand over the hardware. The first mission is the um, APR. Because um, because of our starting location, we don't have a choice right now, so we'll have to do the APR. This is the uh, kill the police chief in the motorcade. I'm gonna use one missile. I don't know you, but you know me. I'm the famous boss for Quas. You hurt in Quas's feelings. I'm with the motorcade. Kill the police chief, and the job is complete. All right. Nobody else in APR knows about this. Other soldiers won't be friendly. Keep your head down. Go and get the boats. to get rid of the phone icon on the screen. I'm not the biggest fan of that. to this big tree here, stand behind it for protection, not that one, not that one, reload, switch to the assault rifle, Fine. We're in the water before 15 minutes, that's beautiful. Good. No 
nobody shooting at us. Beautiful. All right. Fuck. I said I was celebrating a bit too early. No fudged up engine. Good. Really good. All right. Nice guys. Let's go get our next mission. This is um, going to be the UFLL. Destroy the gear at the Oasis, which is. Um, again going to be the uh, missile launcher that's also why we quickly took the time to reload it behind the tree there and, um, yeah because the UFLL is a bit closer to our drop-off or our boat parking location here Stop there. I'll need your guns and all, man. All right, man. Take them. I consider your first call. It would be easy for people to assume that I ordered this attack. This is the United Front. I'm Dr. Kakumba. I will get disappointed. Stambot Point is in Southern Desert. Find the team and destroy their gear. Then they are nice and screwed. Kane is here. Don't forget, this is secret mission. So you are fellow guys, don't know you. Don't expect any help out there. All right, let's go take the bus. To the southeast. Bus station. Right, first loading screen because of a bus station. Pause the timer. All right, hopefully, we don't have a patrol here. this gear then these first few missions aren't so bad it's at the uh, half hour mark that uh, we start to get to uh, some missions that can really fudge us over to this pointy end there, shoot that car over there, reload, alright let's get out of here, hopefully they don't follow us, fuck, fucking assholes, be able to make it. Let's get back to town. Pause the timer. Pause and let's go get the next mission, which is tag the gold in the uh, this area is on the sea spot, not in the oasis northeast of the map. Not far enough. No weapon. Come on, arms up. Come on, you fucking hitbox. Really annoying, glitchy game sometimes. <laughs> that w r wasted a few seconds. All right. How did you let this happen? Thank you for taking better control of everything in this country. 
Maron, this is obscene. They're gonna take that gold and we'll be nothing left. We were the ones. That all came to us. Yeah, teaching the a good lesson. Do not let us hold you up, son. Got it? Hit the Oasis, kill the guards, use your mobile to send us the location. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be great. Right. Now, at the Tag the Gold mission, we have the opportunity to grab some explosives, so we're going to do that as well, just to make sure we get an extra missile for our missile launcher. UFLL, go to the bus, which is in northeast. Now, the thing with the... Timer. All right. Just to get rid of that. Around this rock here. This little one here, around this little rock here, towards that brown patch next to that rock. Alright, now the thing, what we're gonna do differently now, because the last few times we've been chased down by this assault truck, so now we're gonna do it a bit different. We still come in this direction, and kind of handbrake park car here as the escape vehicle. Now the only thing we're going to do different is that once we come out of the hole, we're going to throw a grenade at that assault truck so they don't have a vehicle to chase me down in, because I'm not in the mood to have to deal with that all the time. We grab some extra grenades. Jump out here, grenade over there. Where is everybody? It didn't load any enemies or what what's going on here? Or it did. I don't even think I destroyed the uh, assault truck. But anyway, it kinda seemed like um, like it didn't spawn any um, spawn any enemies over there, at least not in the direct uh, direct area, anyway, let's just go back, park our car beautifully facing this direction, because we need it for the next mission as well, and Pause the timer. Did I just misclick that? No, I didn't. Alright. Unpause. Alright. Now, the next mission, and the last one from the UFLL, is to destroy the pumps at the greenhouse. Wait. I'll need your guns and all, man. Another large hitbox. Oh, we can't get around. Oh, horrible. A really glitchy game this time, guys. Really have to make sure that um, this isn't going to fudge up the whole run. You know what you're A very glitchy game so far. Just a bunch of lies. Don't believe everything you hear. You're good at your job. Better than that, I'm in a fire. The UFL is getting very strong thanks to you. That's good. As you wish. You get the gist, eh? Go to the greenhouse complex, find the shed with all the pipes, take it out. Payment in stones. Same as always. Alright. You're on your own yet, Janet. Don't expect anything in the faces out there. Keep it I won't. Now, 
We're gonna go back to the same bus station and then use the car we just left behind because it's the last car we, or the last vehicle we used, so it should not have respawned. It should still be where we left it. Alright. Pause the timer. There it is. Now, beautiful. Let's go to the river. Run, swim our way to this. House complex. All right. Hopefully, this patrol car up here isn't going to give us any lemons. health but that's not too bad we should have more than enough yes we do all right now all we have to do is run into the camp whack the uh, pump with our machete and then run back out jump in the water when your character is out of breath because you'll instantly lose a bar of health and for a mission like this you're not really waiting for um, you're not really looking for uh, for something like that to happen all right At least in this camp there are enemies. Not that one, I wanna hit the pump, come on. Now the glass of the greenhouse is bulletproof for some reason. out of here. Alright, I think that grenade kind of solved the problem as well. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright guys, now hopefully further up the river there's going to be a patrol car that we can take over so that we have an escape vehicle. And then we need to get to the bus station. go get our next mission, which is to rescue our buddy on the cockfighting arena. Alright. Now this car is just standing here, which means that the guy that's supposed to be here is standing over there in the grass. Don't destroy your own car, man. Please don't. Alright. So we have an escape vehicle, that's nice. Alright. 
that went perfectly fine. Now, we're coming, we're getting close to the one mission that could make it all very, very difficult. And, pause timer. Let me just concentrate on the timer during the loading screen, guys. Alright, now we don't need to go to the doorman to hear that we need to rescue our buddy. In the northern map you can just immediately do it. So let's go to the cockfighting arena and rescue our buddy. guys over here because the less they have the opportunity to shoot at our car the more opportunities we have to get the heck out of here all right escape vehicle beautifully parked all right full health that's beautiful least are people here. I already thought like we're not gonna have any enemies loaded in this game or something. Well done. All right. More guards will be here soon. We will have better luck if we travel separately. Perfect. Hopefully there's not a lot of enemies. Standing around this vehicle of ours. Beautiful. Don't hit my car. Please. Nice. Please don't hit the car. Nice. Alright. Let's go to the APR and get our second mission from them. Which is the dreaded Sniper Valley. Our most beloved location in the game. But I have one one thing that I'm gonna do a bit different just to make sure that we're not gonna lose our buggy. That is to take on the patrol that's following us, if they are following us. Take care of them before we drive up to the um, explosion uh, area or the uh, location. All right. APR, here we come. Right, right, hand over the hardware. Hand over everything. Now, I don't have much hitbox problems with these, uh, with the APR guy, but the UFLL guy, sometimes it's so, so bugged that the hitbox around him moves or something, like moves forward, and kind of blocks your, um, the area. Hey, Greedy, what's the big idea? Him. Running answer for the UFLL. Don't you know that the enemy man? Get it straight. APR all the way. No time for big guy to waste. It's simple, really. Just go to the rail yard and destroy those natural gas cars. Alright. Sniper Valley, here we come. Last time we need to take the bus in the north. Now grabbing a car to get to the bus station is not going to be any faster, so we're just going to run. Go to the north west. Alright, and then pause timer.
Alright, and let's pray. Sniper Valley is going to go fine this time. Let's get rid of that so we have a little bit better view on what's going on on the screen. Because I don't like all these HUD items to be in the way. I want to have a clear view of what's going on. That's also what I really like about this game. That it's just a clear picture. No shit in the screen, nothing in the way. No mini map or some bullshit like that. Objectives or uh, markers or anything. Alright. That went fine. Now here's the first rock. So keep that on our right side. Then the next one. On our left side. And the next one over there. On our right side. And then the next one. Between these two. A little bit to the left. A little bit here to the bush path. And then to the left here. A little bit to the left there so we can get around this rock. Alright, so we have patrol cars after us. So what we're gonna do now. Park a car here. Come on. Repair this. Hey Reaper Reborn, how are you doing man? Good afternoon. Thanks for joining the stream. Try and beat our uh, world record here. Please don't be a dud. Alright, beautiful. Let's go back to the bus station. chat in a second guys let me just quickly do this part no please 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 I'm all good couldn't wait for the stream I played all Far Cry games except this so I really want an actual game as well in a speed run well I'm glad I'm glad you were uh, Came to check it out, man. I'm doing my utmost best to get through this area as quickly as possible. Too bad we had to repair our buggy twice, but at least we still have the buggy. So that's a good thing. Go here. I want to lose it now. Bus station, beautiful. Um, as well in the speed run. Well, guys, this is going really nicely. Actually, that was a really nice sniper valley. So the only other bit of luck in the act, in the first act, that we really have to pray for now is to get a um, patrol car in the next mission on the road. All right. Pause timer. And... Pause timer. Alright. Get to the APR for our last mission. Now, grabbing a car is not going to be any faster, so we're just going to run to the office. Through here. Right. Yeah, what? Stop there. You You'll be getting no Far Cry 5 too, yes? I honestly want Far Cry 3 remastered more. 
I'd rather have a Far Cry 2 remastered actually. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna get Far Cry 5 on the 27th, the day it comes out. I would like to speedrun it as soon as possible, just to get it out of the way. But sorry, you had to witness me dying on the on the on the speed run yesterday when you when you when you showed up. So um, I'm I'm glad you're back, man. Hope you like the run. I'm gonna really do my utmost best to um, finish it this time instead of dying five minutes before the end. I'm gonna try and do it in a record time as well. Now we don't need a bus anymore. We need the boat the west side of town but um, if I hadn't asked uh, Reaper Reborn I'm curious just out of curiosity how um, how did you come across my um, my channel wait I must be it must be better than Far Cry 4 for sure I don't think they put fo wait, give me a second. You have. Um, for sure, I think if they put Far Cry 4 Chopper and Far Cry 3 as a DLC, it would be better instead of making Far Cry 4 because it wasn't that good. I don't know if you agree. I haven't played Far Cry 4, so I wouldn't know. I played Far Cry 3 until halfway. Until you get to the second island, and Far Cry 4, I um, I haven't played. I've watched a, a bit of gameplay about it, and it, it just looks like a reskin Far Cry 3. I hope they do a better job with Far Cry 5. I really hope they change up the gameplay a bit. <coughs> All right. Now hopefully there is a um, patrol car driving around here. Instant respawn, welcome. Thank you for joining uh, joining the chat. Welcome. How are you doing, man? Alright, let's hope this guy is standing right there. It's perfectly fine. Alright, now the guy at the gate. I'll check the I'll check the chat in a second, guys. I'm uh, quickly want to focus on this one. Alright, that guy's dead. Turn around the car. Place it like this, so we have an escape vehicle. I was looking for world record streams and found you. All right, just ran, <coughs> just random world record streams. Oh, come on, two grenades. All right, quickly heal just to make sure. Let's get the heck out of here. I'm here just because Far Cry 2, alright, and the stream is well spoken so that helps, thank you, well spoken, like my articulation or the, am the amount of information I give or what do you mean with well spoken, alright, boom, now that's perfect guys, we can just drive back to town. This is a beautiful Act 1, guys. A really beautiful Act 1. I, I really think that we're going to be in the green um, for the next uh, split, so let's keep this going. Um, Far Cry 5 should be better as the bad guy looks psychotic, but in a way... Whoa. I don't want to 
want to drive off the road. I don't don't text and drive, say, let's say. So let me just quickly pay attention. Now these three guys can be a pain in the a hole. So let's try and just run them over. That's almost what we managed to do. Should be better as the psychotic, but in a way that he thinks. He's a guard. That's both the way you talk and what you talk about. All right. Thank you. Well, if there's anything you guys would like to know, just ask in the chat. I really don't mind. Because sometimes it's also a bit um, a challenge to um, think of something to say and keep him repeating the same thing over and over again about right. the speedrun. Right. It's also um, kind of difficult. Um, Far Cry Primal was actually good, and I wasn't expecting it to be. It's kind of crap at first, though. Uh, the same as with Far Cry 4, I um, I haven't uh, played Far Cry Primal. I checked it out a bit, but um, I haven't played it. Hey, this is a good day for us, my friend. Let me get some water because we can't skip this part. But I'm a man of vision. The big man measures the motors for himself. They are strong enough than ever before, thanks to you, my friend. So how about we make a real change? Destroy the UFL and let in the North once and for all. One faction, one leader. You understand what I'm saying? I want Kakumba dead. You're the perfect one for the job. Ah, is this his cabin up on Tom Lane? He thinks it's hidden, but I know the way. Just follow the river and take the trail up to Gorka Falls. You come back when you are done, we'll have a drink to celebrate. Yeah. And more to come. This is a very rich country, and soon it will be our country. Alright. Let's get this guy. Let's go. Okay, you can go. Let's see. Uh, what made you choose Far Cry 2 to speedrun? And Far Cry 4. Don't bother playing, but Primal, you should try it. Alright, now we need to go take the boat. Oh, fuck. Also have a split, and I completely forgot about it. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We're on a really good time, even though I forgot to split. Still didn't do anything. Alright, split. That's kind of a shame. But I mean, we're in the green, guys, so it doesn't really matter what the um, what the timer says right now. <laughs> All right. Um, why did I choose Far Cry 2? Well, um, I was um, watching. I was watching the um, some some documentaries on YouTube about speedrunning because it's starting to become more popular, and I'm. I'm I, I started really getting into it, just watching it, and then out of curiosity, I um, I just thought, you know what, I'll check out what speedrunners have done with my favorite games, and then one of my favorite games is Far Cry 2, and when I checked that out, I saw there was only one speedrunner doing it, and I... I could beat the time that it was saying there. I already did it casually. So I thought, fuck it. I'm just going to arrange a camera and I'm going to find out how this um, streaming works and then I'm going to record it and I'm going to try and get the world record. And now I do. So that's sort of how I um, came to the decision to uh, start my speedrunning career with Far Cry 2. Because it's my favorite game. And when I saw the leaderboard, I immediately knew I could get the world record. So, all right, don't fudge the boats. Nice. Check the chat in a second, guys, because this river is very narrow and dangerous here and there, so I just want to quickly... quickly 
get this part out of the way. All right, here we are. Let's run up this hill. Um, oh, I see, and I thought the time was bad. No, it's because I have to manually press the um, timer. And um, for the buses, I'm really good at remembering to pause the timer for the bus. But sometimes I forget to press the split button because I'm talking or I'm thinking of what ne to do next and then I completely forget so but the end time is eventually always going to be correct so and that's the most important fuck still not need to film a gek I should have just done it with the machete alright don't miss this Rock here, alright, boom, boom, and let's get the heck out of here. Beautiful. Alright, give me one second, guys, and I'll get to the chat. Because this part, I need to run around these rocks in such a fashion that we just have enough stamina to jump on this rock. So we can run around this thing here. Alright. And that's Ruben. You got only 8 subs on YouTube. Oh man, you deserve more. I subbed. Thanks man, thanks. By the way, I got over a thousand subs yesterday. Whoa, give me a second. On YouTube myself. I'm super happy. That's really nice, man. Congratulations. H how long have you been on YouTube? And what and what do you do on YouTube? Um, have you seen... Any other competitors show up to challenge your world record? Not yet. Not yet. I've heard a few people say that they want to give it a try, but I haven't... I haven't noticed anybody really doing anything with it. But I'm still trying to optimize my run and to get um, to get a much better time. So that's what we're doing now. Because I know that I can get a few minutes off my time. So I just want to do that. Instead of leaving um, the possibility wide open for anybody to actually beat me. Alright, now this part is very dark guys. So let me just quickly focus on the river. I'll be back to the chat in a second. Alright. About two years. I'm... Whoa. Iso trophy guides? Mostly. Or... Wait. Give me one second. SO trophy guides? this SO or am I reading something I do all right so sorry completely um... all right trophy guides and for 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 any game or for specific games or or just any game that you you that you finished or you just randomly pick one how, how do you do that? But cool, man. A thousand subs. But thanks for the sub, man. I, I can't check it right now. But um, really cool of you, man. I still have to work on my YouTube channel. I have to work on all of this, actually. But Because um, I want to I get it looking a bit more pro-pro. Alright, now at the bar, we're going to be able to grab a car and drive to the lumber camp. You press the wrong button. I wanted to press he uh, turn off the light and then I heal myself. <laughs> um, let's see. Any 
new games. When I get to this conversation with Ruben, I'll have the time to quickly read the chat, guys. Give me one second. Almost crushed myself to death. He's in here though. I'm in here. Told you. <laughs> Alright. Thank you for meeting me. I apologize for these dreadful conditions. This was the only safe place I could think of. I hear that Kwasi sent you to Goka Force to kill Dr. Gakuma. Any new game so that comes out and I do it day one. For example, Far Cry 5 is next. Alright. Well, cool. They are still looking for you and the other foreigners as well. A trophy so guide. I don't know if you've heard that bit well, news. for Far Cry 5, I just wanted to do a playthrough and then immediately do a speedrun and start working on getting a decent speedrun. I have arranged transport to Mosate Seleo in the south. I should be safe there. For a while anyway. Be careful, they're looking for you. Do you also have the um, same uh, name on YouTube or what is... Because um, I, I, I don't mind quickly checking out, man. What, uh, what content you have. Give me a second. Boom. Now we need to make sure that we don't die. Because there's shitloads of people here that want to, um, that are already shooting at the bar. And if we just ra run right into their um, fire, we're just going to have a bad, bad time. So let's see if we can run one or two guys over and go to this side. Kill that guy, get out here, and then run to the door. Beautiful. Alright, let's do the fridge. Um, some of my other favorite games. Let me just quickly kill myself, guys. Come on, grenades, grenades. All right, and pause timer. Pause timer again. I didn't fudge anything up. Just give me your uh, YouTube name, man. You don't have to put a link. Just give me a YouTube account name and then I'll find it via your account. I mean, I assume you have a unique name. Alright, guys. Here's a unskippable cutscene that I'm going to use to quickly have a bathroom break. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Enjoy. Some other favorite games. We'll get to that in a, in a second. Uh, yeah, it's same without the 5,000. I can link it to you in the chat, but I don't know if I can post links. Alright, no, then, then it's fine. I'll find that. Sure. You're right. 
situation in the north not good, China. They're after us. Gotta clear out the next step. Nothing broken. No bullet wounds. You are down here, right? No problem. We'll bring a track around in for you here at the shelter. But there's a condition. Go back to the bar and kill Kwasi. It'll be easy. The man's holding a tooth gun. Standing on a truck, fully exposed. You can do it. When the storm dies down, you'll be able to drive south. Alright, guys. You'll be at the crossroads. All right, Pete, let's go. Beautiful sub 59 um, water bottle drink. This is a beautiful time, guys. It's Reaper Reborn, but there are a couple of people you'll find me with a thousand subs. I, I will be able to find you, man. All right. Now, we don't need a secondary weapon. The only two things we need for this part of the game is the mortar, the AK, and we need to get the heck out of here. All right. Lights, good. Let's go kill Prosper Kuwasi. My other favorite games. Um, well, I'm a very nostalgia driven person. So, the things I liked as a child are also the things I really like still now as an adult. And I'm very. I'm, I'm a very stubborn person. I find it very hard to get into new things. The last really nice game I played was Dying Light. Um, but favorite games. Uh, Half-Life 1. Diablo 1. Duke Nukem 3D. Dungeon Keeper. Age of Empires. Commandos. Pokemon. But only the first two generations. Um, a lot of Super Nintendo games like Donkey Kong and Mario and all those things. I, I used to go crazy on that as well. So, yeah. Just to give you an idea. Uh, Fallout, especially 3 and New Vegas. Please let it be the first one. Please let it, let it be the first one. Let's see, let's see, let's see. GTA, of course, as well, especially Vice City and San Andreas. But I mean, now then we're talking about real classics. Um. Let's see, Dying Light was the best game for me this year it came out. Or the year it came out. Um, same on Pokemon. They have ice cream Pokemon now. It's stupid, yeah. And a keychain and um, a, um, a, a chandelier and, and all sorts of stupid things that I think like, yeah. A magnet or a pokeball was already kind of stupid, but this is really stretching it a bit. I mean, you can see that they don't really have much um, inspiration, and they're just kind of milking the whole franchise. It's a shame. Found the first 250 Pokemon. They are really funny and cool, and the story was really nice. All right, guys. Well, that was Act One. We almost finished everything in an hour, so that's beautiful. And we'll be um, on our way to map 2 now, guys. Let me just quickly pause the timer over here. And loading screen. San Andreas rules. Yes, it does. And loading screen. All right. Especially the, uh, the, the amount of content in San Andreas is just surreal. It's beautiful. And especially... Especially the gang fighting. I loved, I loved taking over those territories. That was such, together with the spray painting and everything, I found that such a cool and, and, um, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> Fuck, I don't. 
can't get to the word right now. But you can really get in the game. You like really feel like a fucking gangster spray painting and then shooting all these gangsters up. I, I really liked it. And the story is also just really good. They remastered it. I don't know if you knew it, but I got it and it felt like a kid again playing it. Did they change a lot in the remaster or they just got rid of some bugs and uh, some graphical uh, improvements or what is the difference with the remaster because a few years ago I played it again a few years quite a few years ago I replayed San Andreas and I finished again so I am uh, I am kind of finished with the game now it's also such a long game that uh, all right around this tree Around this rock here, and through this opening here, left, right, left, around that ditch, boom, let's go to Sefapane and talk to Mr. Forhays. Um, give me a second. have a split coming up I think so we'll also have all the time to quickly check the chat just need to remember that this is a split coming up um, nothing at all just better graphics all right four haze is here at the UFLL jump out we have four mortars that's more than enough and we'll still be able to pick up even more you know the drill, know what Alright. Remastered means better graphics, but remake means there are changes. Alright. No, not him. Thank you. Never mind. I think I just solved my problem. Alright. Good. You made it. And to us he's dead. And now the question is, what's our next move? Yeah, best in you get back up and left the country. That's right. I spent ten years eating most of those boys in Angola and look how they had a baby. We're on our own, China. Only way any of us are going to make it is if we plan ahead. I've been thinking about it. There's a good chance the warlords in Varsik will decide to join forces, end the conflict for a while. If that happens, soldiers like you and I are fucked. The men in charge always manage to get by. It's the foot soldiers that get lined up against the wall and shot every time. So, we're going to keep that from happening. Turns out your friend the Jackal's got a huge stockpile of weapons hidden on an island near Fort Saleo. We're going to bring them into the city, give them to all the locals, and under an APR flag too. I reckon that'll force my boss to get his head back in the game. Let's get things started up again. Let's face it, Foot. We need the business. I've got the captain to handle the boat. Now I just need someone I can trust to escort the goods. How about it? You interested? I can get you a meeting with the big man. ID and Bantue. Alright, let, <coughs> let's not forget to make a split here. Oh, we're very close. Very fucking close. And... Split, alright. Now let's get out of town. You look like a mercenary now with the smoke. Yeah, do I look so dangerous? <laughs> Try to look as innocent as possible, of course. <laughs> Alright, let's jump out of this thing. Let's run. Beautiful. Oh, don't get stuck behind the tree. Perfect. Alright. Now... We just need to run to the bus. Because driving the buggy back around that uh, mountain and uh, go to the bus that way takes longer than running. Just a few seconds, but hey, any time we can save, we're gonna grab the opportunity. All right. Let's go to Port Salau. Let's just pause the timer. But we're very close guys, we're very close and we're going to be able to make up a few minutes later in the game. So I think we're, uh, we're going to be uh, 
world record here, guys. If it goes like this, if it keeps going like this, then uh, this is a world record. All we have to do is now finish the game. We still have two hours to go, though. So, uh, welcome, guys, to the, um, the second half of the game, basically. We're just going to have this boating mission. And then... Um, And then we're basically halfway. Unless it happens like yesterday. Yeah, there are a few very dangerous places that we still have to get around. So let's not start cheering right now. But the time we have, like the first hour went by really nicely, guys. This is sort of how we want things to be. All right. Alright, don't leave this um, room before that thing pops up on the screen. And go downstairs before um, before you do anything else so that he Im immediately starts moving or starts uh, going with the boat. Alright, now up on that hill, we're gonna have a guy to shoot. We'll see him appear here shortly. There he is. Now he's gonna go up. Uh, he's gonna go there and sit down. Teabag the ground. And he's gonna do it again. And he's gonna do it once more. And then we fire. We reload. Hopefully, we got him. I don't see anybody, so now we need to get this douche. It's right over there. Let's just reload to make sure. Didn't fudge up our boat, that's good. Did we get this guy? I think he died, didn't he? I think he did. I think he did. He's so far off in the distance that um, it's really difficult to see sometimes. Aconio Donio, how are you, man? Welcome. But alright, I'm trying to bust my head, trying to understand the flag above your head. Is it Ukraine? No, it's the old Dutch flag. Before it became red, white and blue, it was orange, white and blue. I just like it better than the red, white and blue. Because I don't feel very much uh, in any way proud of the uh, country as it is now far prouder of what this society used to be yeah, when we still used to build windmills and just uh, create land out of out of sea and, and, and like those things that that I really care about but the shit that we have now I don't even want to have that flag above my head so then I thought I'll choose this. It's not an official flag anymore, so... But it used to be the rebel flag. When they... Uh, with the 80-year war against uh, Spain, I think. It used to be the uh, rebel flag. So... And I like... Rebellious... Groups. Because everybody should have a chance at freedom. No matter who... Um, and nobody has the, uh, the right to tell somebody else how to live, so fudge anybody saying that somebody shouldn't have independence or whatever I think every every group of people should be allowed to live in peace and every other group should leave them alone so I'm 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 for every rebel group and every independence group and, and I hate unifications 
I hate unions. I hate groups that become so big that it, it just... Nah. You get what I'm saying. Alright. And let's go. Never jump off the boat before you get that objective updated on the screen or else the engine will break down and you'll have to get back on the boat, repair it and it's gonna waste so much time. Um, tell that the Germans leave us alone. Everybody should be left alone. Everybody should just be left alone. Alright, now we need to go to the doctor. immune to malaria no matter where you come from I'm Obua I'm the only doctor here but that's not why you came I'm sorry it's just that we see so many foreign mercenaries oh, even this is why I was too much to ask at least you brought that to one perhaps I judge too easily sir I would like to help you you must know that medicine is in short supply but there are other altruists like yourself if you return here when it is calm I will be happy to introduce you all right. Now we need to go to the bus station, and get to the marina bar. All right. Um, no, I don't watch football. I. Um, I don't watch sports. I like to do things, but I don't like to watch other people do things. At least not not physically like that. Like we need to go to the bar. Like pause timer. Um I I, I like watching football, but I don't like watching people play football. And And pause. All right. Well, at least I see speed running. I see as a sport as well, and I watch people speed run. So saying that I don't watch people do sports is a little bit um, is is not completely correct. I mean, I'll watch somebody do a sport, but I mean I don't even watch TV. So when do I ever watch sports? Not not really, man. And especially football. It's my least favorite sport in the world. I just hate it that people um, get paid millions and all they do is actually act like little, little bitches. Lying down after being gently scraped. Nah man, I don't want to watch that. No wait, we just need to do it like this. Fuck are all these people coming from and going? Fuck. Okay, beautiful. At least that was the last one. That kind of wasted a some time. I hear a safer sore eyes. Situation's not the best day, but it could be worse. At least I'm breathing. 
This board's just going straight to the bottom of the river. Reckon I'll be feathering a new nest around here, like. Split and let's get out of here and go to town. A little bit in the red, but we can make up some time. Fuck! We fucked up the boat. Shit! Is there one here? Fuck. There is. Fuck, but this is gonna be a waste of fucking time. Why did we have to do that? Why did we destroy that boat? Alright. Well, we'll be able to make make up for... What is it? A minute. Yeah, we'll be able to make up for that. Just get rid of this. And let's get to town, guys. We'll get our first mission on the next map. We should have our mortars now. So we should be able to just blow up our targets. Yes, we did. Alright, good. Those are the only weapons we need right now. Fuck off, man. What the fuck is that guy doing there? Anyway, not even gonna bother. Once you select the bus station, your uh, nothing can, end, can happen. And. Pause. All right, let's go to town and get our next mission. Yeah, I already did uh, what I'm doing now is the easy speed run And I did the hundred percent walkthrough playthrough. I already did last week And I kind of put it on hold we still have to find all the diamonds and we still have to unlock all the um, Unlock all the outposts and safe houses. Alright. And in that walkthrough, we basically did uh, we did everything with machete and explosives. So the machete only speedrun, I still have to think about that. And the infamous speedrun, I wanna do that. But I first wanna get this one down to a beautiful time. So for now I'm just doing the easy speed run again guys. Which which is just a speed run. Putting it on easy is just a way of doing the game faster, so that's just part of the speed run. Alright. It's an ugly world and it's getting worse by the Because Far Cry 2, because there isn't such a large speed running community yet in this game there is also not any other categories than any percent so this is just the any percent all right first APR mission means we have to jump through this bush here hey. Hello. and grab that car over there oh stupid of me blowing up that boat I have to really make sure never to do that again all right pick up that thing just to get the Telephone icon out of the way because I don't like it on the screen, it just uh, doesn't look really nice. I like how, especially in this game, it's one of the only games I know where there is absolutely nothing on the screen no HUD, no, no shit. Right, let's take the train tracks. No, fuck you, train tracks. They have a habit of kind of pushing you around. Don't shoot up my car too badly. Alright. Alright. Hopefully, I'm not gonna have much of a problem with these patrols. Go to this pointy end here. Point it over there. Then press reload, put it on the seventh tooth, and shoot. Hopefully, this is fine. Yes, it is. Let's grab our car and get the heck out of here. Oh, 
hopefully no assault truck is gonna come by. Okay, it is. Okay, we'll take the assault truck. Dashing, face cam, speed run category. And this is all still no homo, I assume. Is uh, no homo. Well, it's probably probably the lighting or something. Because in real life, I'm ugly. You know, ugly Bob from South Park. That basically. Okay, on the computer, I just uh, look different. All right, APR number two. Second APR mission also has a um, mortar shot that can make the whole mission Wait. go very fast. No, no, the drill, no weapons. All right, beautiful. At least until now, everything is going very nicely. Second APR mission. Destroy the generator. No rest for the wicked, I see. That's good. These are dangerous times for the APR. Nobody's safe anymore, not even me. This is no way to keep a man in my position. We've arranged payment, of course. Destroying the generator will cripple the transmitter. Remember, you're looking for Wheeler Gold Village. This is a really nice mission because it's so nice and peaceful. We only have to just quickly drive there. Beautiful sunset. All right. Willagog Village, so we need to go to the bus station and the closest car to us right now is that one behind that hole in the wall. Let's go there. Alright, now. Come on, get in, get in. Driving to the sunset. That's Sounds maybe 3% homo, but it's just 3%. I'm trying to keep it all uh, kind of neutral. All right, south, west. Pause the timer. Yeah, I'm just focusing on the timer, guys, during the loading screen. Does make the loading screen a bit boring. All right, let's go. Drive on off into the sunset. Off to a beautiful world record. All right, now what I normally say is, if you the moment you see the sun and it's not touching the hill, you're on a really good time. Well, this thing is still high up in the sky, so we're on a really beautiful time here, guys. Good. Good. Now we be, we can be confident that if everything just goes our way and no bad luck, then um, we're on a really beautiful time here, guys. So, again, thank you guys all for um, for joining in, checking out my stream. I really appreciate. Um, having audience it's uh it's really cool it's like a new dimension to the whole gaming idea i really like it so thank you guys hope you guys are enjoying the run and the stream now because of the hitbox around this area we can't shoot over the the mountains or over the rock face there 
So we have to drive to this opening here to be able to shoot at the generator with our mortar. Park the car here so we can get away easily. Okay, mortar and slide. Crawl the last few meters. This little pointy end here. Sit on that. And then behind that tree, you'll see this little hilltop. Reload and shoot right at it. Maybe it's shy, maybe it's just that uh, some people are busy doing something else, maybe. Like the dishes or um, watching something else. But yeah, well that was all the mortar shots guys and I glad, I'm glad we got all, uh, all three of them on the, first, uh, on the first try. I think I got them, uh, I got them completely... Um, under control now. Now let's go back and go to the APR. The doorman is going to tell us that um, Media Tambosa doesn't have no work and so we uh, are going to have to go to the brewery and rescue a buddy. There's two obligatory buddy saves in the game. I think there are four or five in total. But two are obligatory to be able to finish the game. And this is the second one. Alright. the timer there's a chance I'll get Far Cry 5 some days before release all right H how do you arrange that then all right now we have to go back to Port Salao but now another change that we did that we made compared to our previous speedrun is now using the same car to get back although it hasn't been going very well lately because of that bush over there on the corner but okay that we do it like this a uh, handbrake turn boom jump out on this thing and then it's there perfectly positioned to find somebody stand by to um, hey, I might get away have something for you back to the bus station no what from measure Tembasa today but maybe I have something, yeah? Yeah? Alright, let's go. Good luck, man. Thank you, man. It's always nice when people wish you good luck. Not everybody is an asshole in this game. Or is it our reputation? Boom! Now, the only problem I've been having with this part here is driving around this corner. It's a real shame. Now we need to take the boat to the brewery, get out here, jump in the fishing boat. Alright, now beautifully, a beautiful and quiet little boat ride to the brewery, so now I can quickly read the chat. If I do, I'll come to chat and spoiler you when you play it. That's fine. If you can point me to where I have to go, we might be able to do the speed run even faster. So maybe you can help me out. That's a secret. If I tell you, CIE, CIA will kill us both. Alright. Hey, you really think the CIA would be um, on a case like that? Wouldn't it be a federal um, thing? Instead of uh, an intelligence agency? So, I mean, it would be the FBI instead of the CIA, right? No patrols, please. No patrol boats. Good. Alright. There it is. 
but it's just far enough away. It's not going to bother us. Let's ram it up into the shore here. Boom. Let's get out. Come on. And search for clues. I think I found it. There we go. Alright. Let's grab this boat and hopefully. Please, let's get out of here. Don't let me die now. Alright, at least we got rid of that boat because those boats have, uh, just like this one, they have a grenade launcher. And an explosion is an insta kill, and we do not want to die right now. We want to finish this game so we can record this world record time that we have going right now. The CIA part is for when you ask me about how I'll get the game earlier. Yeah, I know, but wouldn't that be a federal problem? Instead of something that a secret intelligence agency does. Uh, we need to go back to the APR again, yes. We get our third mission. One, one of the most exciting missions I find in the game. Alright, let's see if we can do this a bit better. Lucky, that's all. My local store most times brings games earlier than release. Alright. Well, you are very lucky then. I'm just gonna wait like the rest of us. For the 27th. You're in no shape to start a war with another country. Our friend has returned. Perhaps he'll help us put an end to this once and for all. Alright. The money's in here now. You'll find the explosives at the diamond mine demo shed and the pipeline targets at the construction site. Good luck. Thank you. Be ready for anything. I'd expect the worst if I were you. Now, like I was saying, I find this one of the most exciting. Um, missions in the whole speed run just because of the multiple things we have to do perfect okay from now on we're gonna do it like that uh, we'll go village so we need to go to the south Again. Ach, a diamond mine, I mean. Pause timer. And. Alright. We're here again. This is not even the last time we're going to be here. Weird bit of weather, but that's fine. Perfectly fine. Alright. First we need to pick up some diamond dynamite from the diamond mine. Go around here towards this big tree. Past this diamond briefcase. Past this rock. Down this little bush path. Alright. And 
now we can just basically go straight up on top of this hill and we're back on the path quickly turn this thing around so escape a vehicle beautiful just to make sure you don't die immediately alright let's get this telephone icon off the screen alright now we need to go to the pipeline guys so we have to go past this outpost here and then through a canyon Lately, this has been going quite all right. Ow. Ow. Oh. All right, boom. Here's these two canoes. Just past those two, boom. Fucking assholes, fucking die! Motherfuckers. Fucking wasting my time here. I don't know if you know the game Sniper Ghost Warrior 3, I had that one week before release, so yeah, pretty lucky. I don't know the go game, man, but yeah, it's really cool to be able to just have games before release even. Fuck off! Stupid patrol cars everywhere. Well, normally we get through there a bit faster, but it's not the end of the world. We can still make up a lot of time later, so let's just go and finish this mission. We need to kind of dodge some rocks here and there behind this bush. This one here, there's one right there, so don't run into that one. Alright. Don't need to repair? Okay, good. Now, I use the machete norm for most of the things because we don't ever need to reload that. Just to have some distractions. quickly do this, see, and they're all paying attention to something else now, so that's good, we can just get the heck out of here, go back to the brewery, get a boat to get the heck out of here, alright, through the jungle, a rock face right there oh. and go to the left here a little bit more to the right okay nice past these big trees here and this place right beautiful now here after this tree there's a bend don't miss it because sometimes it happens to me that I just miss it and I keep on driving straight. Right, brewery. Hopefully, there's no patrol boats. to give us a bad time now. There they are, but they're nice far away. Good. Beautiful. Alright. That was the blow up the pipeline. So now we need to go to the UFLL. And 
go and get their first mission, which is to destroy the keel at the Dogon. Ah, the Dogon, Dogon Cliff Dwellings. It is a big map, yes. It is uh, 15 square 50 square kilometers, I believe. Each map is 5 kilometers by 5 kilometers. Alright. And there's a northern map and a southern map, but I've already understood that. <coughs> Alright, UFLL guys. Destroying the kill. This area is under sea spike, not piss about. Stop there. You know the drill, no weapons. Alright. Could be the best thing lately. I mean, they always ask you. Too bad for you. Nobody asked. The UFLL has work to do. Are you healthy? Can you fight? Let's see you fight for Adi Bantwe. Busy man, I see. Alright. Stand, I'm cut. Just stay with me. Cut the dagger on good buildings and destroy the kills. It's kill or be killed, Frank. You choose which side of that line you want to build. Alright. Now, this mission we also changed up a little bit compared to our previous speedrun. Now we need to go to the Sefapane bus station in the northwest. Let's go to the bus. the timer yes I have a mute button on the left side of my uh, headphones and pause all right now in the vanilla game this is just a car but in the DLC this is an ATV and this mission is so much nicer to do if, the, if you have a car than the ATV. The car is just so much more durable. It's a bit bigger, but it's more durable. And we need durability in this mission. We, we, want, we want to be able to run over two or three, four guys if possible. And the ATV is incapable of doing that, so... The speed run is much nicer to do without the uh, DLC installed. And uh, secondly, the world record, uh, the rules state that uh, you don't use the uh, DLC. So that makes it better. The, the, the speed run is nicer without the DLC anyway. So that's good. To the left here. Let's go. That's a nice thing about being able to drive with one hand. Cheat 
code like in San Andreas and spawn a tank with nitro. I don't know how if there are cheat codes in this game. Alright, through the wheat field to the left up this hill. Alright. And normally I park it here in this garage looking area so that there's a few walls around us so we can safely exit the vehicle without being shot too much. Now we have three grenades and if everything goes well, we only need one. Alright, still full health, we have two serrets, so that's perfectly fine. Come on, jump. Don't get out of breath either. But like I said, I don't know if there are any cheat codes in this game. I, d I don't know of anything. That should be enough. Alright. Now, instead of taking the hang glider like we used to do in the speed run. We, uh, we run down the hill. So it seems to be... Um, bit faster. Alright, around this little outhouse. Jump over this. And here should be an assault truck. Ready for us to get out of here. I don't think there is any. No, I also don't think so. I still want to get some, there's some promotional and some additional content that you can unlock. And I want to just do find out how to do that as well. The only thing I did unlock now is that uh, I have the other two machete skins in game. But I mean that's just an aesthetic uh, change. It doesn't change anything in the game itself. And I have the DLC, the Fortune Edition. But because I'm speed running it, the game, I uh, don't have that um, installed right now. I just turned that off. So that we don't have ATVs and big trucks and crossbow and um, silent shotgun. We have, don't have those things. Alright. Well, let's ditch the assault truck. Let's jump off here. We should go back to the bus station. So, driving is definitely not so fast as running this way. Actually I just checked there are cheats. But don't tell Alright. What the hell why don't you wanna run up that way? Now the guy has a hard time in in, in the heat of the sun. So he can only take one or two steps and then he starts to already lose all his Stamina. I have to kind of be careful. Not to fatigue this guy too quickly. We don't want to be standing still half the time. Alright. Now let's go and get the second UFLL mission. Pause timer. Course, all right. UFLL. There is cheats to skip the intro. Yeah, you can also just have a save game at the end of the intro. <laughs> UFLL number two. Which is an assassination right. on Professor Junia right. over the at the Polytech. Polytech location. All right. Well, guys, welcome to the last hour of the speed run. Hope you guys are having a. What a bottle like this? This situation is becoming quite serious. We need to bring this battle under control and good time. I want to discuss some watching. Ah, so you hate professors too. I hate people who talk too much. 
Um. The arrow your sounds. Just head east to the body dick and kill you near. Done. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for all being here. And uh, welcome to the last little bit of the game. We're already almost at the end. It goes faster and faster every time we do this. Alright, now we need to do the assassination. So we need a boat. Which is to the north of this city. Although I, I actually want to call it a town because none of the... the places in the game actually seem like a city. Actually, Shishwana looks more like a city than anything. Let's pick it up, just to get the icon out of the screen. Alright. Maybe in the prison sequence I can quickly get um, get some water because I'm kind of running out and I have such a fucking dry mouth. No, please! Please don't fudge me over. Please don't ruin my boat. Oh, fucking assholes. Still not completely fudged. Alright. This should be fine. This speedrun is cool. I'm glad you're enjoying it, man. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate that as well. The thing the thing I really like about this speedrun, or speedrunning this game, is that you don't glitch through every wall and... and um, it's, it's more about running and finding a fast way to go. Alright, assassination, AK-47, alright, let's get out of here. Don't shoot me up, please don't shoot up my boats. I think they did, no they didn't, nice. Well, hopefully we're gonna be fine. Even if there were glitches to skip the map, you could still do a glitchless speedrun category. You could, yes. There's only one glitch that I know of that I make use of and that is being pushed out the door by the jackal at the very end when you grab the uh, car battery although yesterday we died just before that uh, part of the story but uh, then you can quickly run up to the door and then the jackal in his animation will push you through it and then you just skip a few seconds of dialogue it's not the biggest glitch in the world so basically this is a glitchless speedrun uh, we need to go back to the UFLL and get a mission to kill Yabek. Alright guys, this is a really nice mission. We completely changed this mission. Completely changed how we're gonna do it. And it's a very exciting one, I find. So let's go. Quickly grab some medication on the way to debriefing because uh, I only have one left, yes, and I don't want to be stuck without health somewhere. That's really, really annoying to be in that situation. Yeah. Stop there. You know the drill, no weapons. All right. Should be here, so on the way back, on the way out, we just grab some health. So we're gonna be shot at a lot more now. Nobody followed you here, Gore. I cannot be too careful these days. The enemies of the UFLL are everywhere. Uh, 
After this mission, we have a split, guys, and that split time will be the uh, in, yeah. find the, the most precise that we have, and it'll per it'll show how how much time we did or did not save. All right, let's go to the rail yard. That took a few seconds, but it doesn't matter. All right, now we need to get the car. Normally, I I would take the boat. But I think this is much, much better. You take the car. You drive through the airfield. Alright. Go on the train tracks. Take the train tracks first because taking the bend on the road, we have to slow down to be able to make the bend. And I'd rather take the railroad, just be able to drive full speed. To here, all right. miss all of the shots, please. Please don't bust the car. All right. Now we're taking a different route than the last time because I think I found a better one. Instead of going around the left side, we're going around the right side of this building. There we go. Now there should be a missile launcher guy right somewhere over here. Much better. Much better result, guys. Much, much better result. Fuck! Please don't insta-kill me. Fuck it. Fuck the car. I mean, maybe leaving the car behind is a uh, dumb idea now. But um, I'd rather run a little bit than be insta-killed and all of a sudden lose all the, all the progress we have. I mean, uh, we know that this can go better, so we might be able to save a few seconds next time we do this. But seeing as we have such a beautiful time right now, I don't want to have a... Uh... Yeah, it's not only an RPG dude. It's uh, it's also a uh, assault truck with a grenade launcher that these guys grab. It's really annoying. Now, what we have to do here is make sure that we kill all three of these guys. So that we unlock this safe house. Because we don't want to have them respawn on the way back. So, just quickly kill him. Take some health and grab the assault truck. All right. Now with this one, we just have to make sure that we get this missile launcher, dude. And get his missile launcher. I have to make sure we get the right guy. Which is that guy over there? We need this weapon. We kind of go down this hill without falling to our death. Please don't die. All right, beautiful. Malaria attack. I'm not gonna bother with that right now. But this is a beautiful time to get it. Now here, we just attract the attention of this missile launcher guy. Okay. Kill him before we get wrecked by him. And then over here, very difficult to make out, is a door opening. You have to shoot right in there. Please let it be. Nice. Grab the AK-47. See? How many grenades we have. Get rid of some of our grenades. 
Grab this vehicle. Get the fudge out of here and let's escape via the airport the same way we came basically. Perfect. Beautiful until now. now. And seeing as we killed those guys from the safe house, unlocking the safe house, they didn't respawn or else we'd be shot at already and at, uh, reducing the durability of our car. And we want to have full durability on this assault truck when driving through the airport because we're going to be shot at like crazy. Okay, fudge you, man. Fucking asshole. Fucking assholes. Alright, this band is fudged up to take, so let's just hope the AI doesn't make it through there as smooth as we did. Let's go. like this and we should take the boat perfect okay maybe we're just gonna keep driving not the best condition anymore but just let's go fudge these people please don't fuck up my car too badly no black smoke, please. Could have also grabbed that car, but fuck it. Let's just keep going. Trade tracks are a little bit safer, because the AI is worse at driving on them than on the road. Okay. Perfect. Alright. Really, really perfect, guys. So now we need to go to the UFLL headquarters again. And uh, we have a split coming up. So I don't know how much further ahead or behind we are. I have the feeling like we're having a decent time. I'm getting a decent time on this one. Beautiful. Let's not forget to take malaria. Medication. Stop there. You know the drill, no weapons. Alright, let me get some water as well, guys. Um, wait, I'll, I'll, I'll check the chat in a second as well, guys. One second. But what is the problem? The problem, I is that when big dogs join forces, they usually do not stack up the list of attack. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. Sure you don't. <coughs> ah, oh, very good, friend. Come in. Good news. This battle of ours is going to end. Oliver Tambosa and I have talked, and we agree. The people are too troubled, too much unrest. What they need is order and security. Here, take this to the Dogon Sediko. Tambosa is going to tell him I accept his offer. Then he will give you a big diamond attaché. Very valuable. A symbol of good faith. Bring it back here. Then we will know where we stand. I like how every car has GPS. I wish mine had too, but it doesn't matter now anyway. It got stolen. Yeah, your car got stolen. I would ask yourself who benefits from this deal. That's fucked up. All right, and split. All right. Well, I think we're kind of in the same area. Yes, we are. As our world record. So let's just continue, guys. This is going really nicely. Now we need to go and get the diamonds. All right. get the boat again we have a few missiles that's nice RPG 7 I think but if your car got stolen isn't it can't can't, can't they find your vehicle then Alright, 
too bad we lost a little bit of time earlier in the game but we made up for it guys we made up all that time so that's good police is useless yes they are sell out souls Beautiful. Now hopefully this car isn't even here, but we have the means of dealing with it. Perfect. Getting the feeling like we're not going to be bothered too much by this. Okay, maybe we are. No? Fuck it. Just let it go. Alright, don't fuck up the car. Beautiful. And now, this should also go fine. Before the first tree, go to the right through the bushes here, around this tree here. Ooh, not in the ditch. Good. And then around this tree here. Through these ones there. Make a turn here. And kind of get out there. Still not perfect, but it's going all right. All right. Pause the timer in the loading screen. What do you got there? Diamonds? <laughs> loading screen. And unloading. Alright. Fuck it. Sorry, Frankie, but we're gonna leave you behind. Alright. Now, do we need health? No, we don't. So we only grab the weapon and then go. 180 shots, that's more than enough. Hopefully we don't have a patrol car fudging up everything for us here, because this can turn into a very dangerous location very quickly. Perfect. Alright, Greaves is going to give us a phone call now, asking us to go to... Sepapane to meet him over there, so we're going there. Easiest way to go. Let's take the bus from Port Salau. I'm gonna do that by grabbing the boat at the brewery, like always. This is my favorite escape vehicle. <coughs> escape vehicle.
Please don't shoot me too much. Please leave me alone. Alright, patrol? No. Patrol? No. Alright. Good. Alright, now we have to go to Sefapane. Yeah, we have about 40 minutes to go, that's true. Let's just not fudge anything up now. That would be a real shame. Alright, Sefepane, let's go meet Greaves. So not take the car, sometimes I'm stupid enough to fall for that one. Alright. Pause timer. Sefapane. <coughs> the way you park the boats, that's my parking style too on GTA. <coughs> Isn't that the way you um, handle uh, vehicles in almost every game? I mean, I never drive uh, nicely in, uh, in games. Alright, up down this bush path. But it, um, it, it, it makes it that it kind of ramps up, giving me the perfect um, launching platform to kind of jump on the, um, on the, on the, what do you call it, the pavement, the dock, whatever, alright. I don't need the trouble, I don't need the trouble. that's good. Starting to become famous over here. People are starting to fear me. Come there for me. Orders, man. I need to hold your weapons. Just so you know, the last couple splits when you thought you were pausing the timer, it wasn't actually pausing. What? There you are. So here's what is coming. Me in charge of the whole operation. I intend to take the situation. I haven't seen any mistakes yet in the Pausing. Where did I miss something then? You'll find him at the brewery. His guards are with him, so you should expect a fight. All right. Now we need to go to the marina bar. I'll be in Port Soleil. Come and find me in the office when you're done. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't see any problems yet. All right, let's go back to the bus and take the bus to the marina bar, so we can buy a, a, a grenade launcher. Oh, jump out here. No, but I have the um, I have the Twitch. Uh, I have my own Twitch open in front of me, and there is an eight-second delay, and the loading screen takes ten seconds. So every time I have just enough time to double check if I clicked everything correctly. So I haven't noticed me doing anything wrong yet with the bus stations. But hey, after the after the stream, I can always check it. So if if there is a problem, I can always re-time the run if it gets close to the world record or if it beats the world record. Okay, so now we need this one to go to Marina Bar. Pause timer. And pause. All right. Beautiful. 
beautiful. But uh, thanks for letting me know instant respawn. I'll um, I'll check it out after the uh, after the stream. Everything went all right. Now with this one, I'm just going to drive down because I want to re reuse this uh, vehicle. Next time, we're going to just have a self launch. Over the cliff there, but okay, let's buy the MGL 140. Beautiful. Now we have to go to the armory next door to quickly pick it up. So there goes our assault rifle. Not gonna use that anymore. This is the last weapon we, we need actually in the game. Load up on some extra grenades for the launcher. Okay, 20 shots, beautiful. Let's go kill Adi and Bantuwe, who's at the brewery. Because the way we do the missions, we end up with the APR giving this mission, and the APR always sends you back to the brewery, which is because of that beautiful boat standing there is the best location for us to do these missions. While with the grab the diamonds mission, the jackal came and kicked us in the face and then we are transported to the prison. So there you want to do the mission at the village because then you can make use of the fact that you're being transported somewhere else to get out of that horrible location. Or else it's a really, really horrible location to find a way back to town from. Alright, thank you for getting out of the way. Now hopefully this bush ride is going to be fine. Let's go down to the river. Alright, a little bit to the left. Good. <laughs> exact same color as the grass. Alright. Now this way a little bit and we should be back on the path here. Beautiful. Take this beautiful machine. No. All right. Assassinate Port Salau. We have to go back to Port Salau. So we're just going to take the boat again. There goes the patrol boat, so hopefully if we go to the right, I'm not really gonna notice, I'm gonna have enough time to go and get out of the way. Okay, beautiful guys, well that was the last grenade launcher speedboat that we have to worry about. Alright, we're gonna go to Port Salau, go back to the APR headquarters, and talk to Mr. Purefoy. Long time no see, and um, get the last few missions, guys, and the next split as well. And I'm having the feeling like we're gonna be in the green this time. So let's let's keep hoping for this, Mr. Purefoy. Let's get it on. After that, we have to take the bus again, so we're going to do the same as what we've been doing all along. Let's park it right there, and jump up this way. Wait, I'll need your guns and all, man. Yeah, that's alright.
Hopefully we won a little bit of time. Long time no see. Since the ball was back. Look good, healthy. Looks like Africa suits you. I have the feeling I'm we did. By, although I'm sure it wasn't seen me. Maybe you came to get a job from that psychopath, Greaves. Or that backstabber, Kanko. Listen, forget those guys. I've had enough. I'm taking over this outfit. You came here for a job, right? I'll give you one. How about you put a bullet in their heads? They're up in a town called Sapoko. It's an old border cross from a mile northeast of here. Everything's a mess right now. Nobody knows their ass from their elbow. It's perfect time for a regime change. Any man that does this work for me is a friend. And I'm good to my friends. It's good money. All you gotta do is get up to that ghost town and take your shots. It's good. Glad we All right. Each other. Split and let's get out of here. Good hunting. Hopefully we got the split correct. did get the split correctly so we need to go to the bus station that's it you walking your ass out of here oh what a name kind of looks like anders something like that i could hardly read it because of all the double letters you can try and make it hard on purpose, I assume. But thanks for the follow, man. Thank you very much. Let's grab the bus to the north east. Pause the timer. Thank you. I, uh, I hope you're enjoying the uh, the stream. Tell me, how uh, what is your experience with Far Cry 2? And... Unpause. Alright. Let's go kill these two guys. Alright, now it's around this thing. And then on the high ground. Around this way. Over the highest points. Right, down towards the road. Beautiful. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. No more problems with the rocks or anything. Beautiful. Alright guys, grenade launcher shot for the win. So we stand on this pointy end over here. Look towards that little building over there, just above it. And then no subtitles in the screen, which means we got both of them in that second shot, so mission completed. Let's get the heck out of here. Ruben, let's go to the bar. It's Ruben. Could you meet me at the bar? It's urgent. I have to warn you, some of your old associates are here. So watch your right. back when you arrive. Going back, it's even easier. Kind of point towards that tree, a little bit to the left of it, towards this rock, just around the right side of it, and then towards the left, down the hill, bam, there's the bus station. Let's get the heck out of here. And let's go to Marina Bar. Go talk to Ruben. Alright, and pause timer. A and D, yes. Alright, I really don't know how I should pronounce that. So I'm just gonna say Anders. Thank you, man, for the follow. I really appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying the stream. Alright. Because we're on a really, really beautiful run here, guys, so. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the last 20 minutes. Alright. Now we need to go talk to Mr. Ruben. Beautiful. And there is an assault truck next to the um, next to the bar that we can use to get back to the bus station. So with this one, the fastest way, we're not going to drive all the way down. What we're going to try and do... Let's just drive off the cliff here. Now fudge it. Not the best in the world, but hey, fuck it. It's 
faster than driving around. All right. Hey, come see me before you go. I paid your friend in return and a lot of money so that you and I could talk. This is an expensive conversation we're about to have here. I don't know if you've heard, but there's been an incident at the airport. Some kind of shootout at the OK Corral. These men are taking me there so that I can see it for myself. Heal myself. All right. We have enough help for this. Look, if things get complicated, can I call you? Nobody else will help me. Ripso 5000. Thanks for the follow, man. I really appreciate it. How are you doing? Thanks for joining uh, my stream. There are days when I wish I were you. Hey man, over here. Good to see you. How you been? Is it true what people are saying that you are taking out guys in the APR? Yeah. Good. Because we need to do the same. Same question, man. What is your experience with Far Cry 2? Then they got to put me in charge. But first, I need to find the guy to do the job. You interested? It's gonna be pretty easy. They're doing a little recon at the diamond mine, and then you walk in, blam blam, and you're done. And I'll pay too. Best offer you're gonna get all day, bro. When it's done, come back and meet me at headquarters. I'll be there for sure. You're all right. Just take care of those two pieces of shit for me, okay? All right. Now we should get a truck. Now we need to go to the diamond mine. So we need to go to the south west bus station. All right, man. So 5,000. Thanks for the follow, man. What? Don't. Don't shoot me in the back of the head. Alright, nice. At least he's standing over there. Instead of bothering me over here at the bus station. Alright. So, let me see. It's a diamond mine. To kill those other two guys. And that should be this bus station. Pause the timer. And pause. All right. This one, I have to go around to the other side of the uh, diamond mine to get a nice shot at them. So I'm going to go a little bit of a different direction. The same route we're going to take to this little bush path. Instead of going underneath the bridge over there, just go slightly to the left of it. This hill, a bit to the left instead of to the right because there's a rock that you can get stuck on and you don't want that. Where are these assholes? Alright, fudge them. Let's just continue driving. Hopefully there's not going to be any problems. Maybe just a few. Let's just go. Let's just go. Stop wasting my time, patrol cars. Stop wasting my time. And I didn't want to blow them up with the grenade launch because if I blow up my own vehicle as well, then 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 we're screwed. So I'd rather take the extra second and machete them in the face than to risk damaging our vehicle. shouldn't be such a big deal. Right down to this. Okay, get out. That's too bad. Come on, reload. Come 
on, man, let's just get out of here. Damn, that was a horrible. Horrible way of uh, finishing this mission. Well, it's not even finished yet. Still being followed, I have the feeling. Anyway, as long as we can get off the road and into the ditch, we should should be able to just get out of here without too much of a problem now. All right, let's just get this right in between these two. Left of this one, left of that one. All right. Boom. Perfect. Is it busted? No, our engine isn't busted. This is beautiful. Well, we lost a minute there because of all the patrol bullshit. But um, we should be able to make it beautifully in time to have a good talk to Mr. Ruben Oluwagambi. Um, so yeah, we need to go to Port Salau, grab a jeep. All right. Pause timer. Port Salau airfields. All right. Unpause and let's go. All right. Now instead of taking the boat that we used to do, we're gonna do it differently now. We're gonna do. We're gonna try and drive all the way to the airport because the car is a bit faster than the boat, but the distance you take by boat is a bit less than by car. But the car we can drive all the way to the front door basically of where we need to be and um, with the boat we have a, a, a bit more distance to run on foot so we're gonna now try and minimize the running maximize the driving without sacrificing any time all right not too many shots on our jeep that's good somebody over here yes we can don't shoot at me don't shoot bitch good Let's just go come on get in beautiful next split coming up Split and let's get out of here. Fuck the car. I don't even wanna. Maybe we should have grabbed it, but fuck it. We're just gonna run. It's just a few meters. It doesn't make the biggest difference. I don't wanna have here. Boom. Missile launcher. I don't wanna have the opportunity. Or the. the I don't wanna have the situation arise where. We grab the car and then we still get blown up by somebody. Because I don't want to die. Especially not with this beautiful fucking time we have going here. Alright. There's a boat over there I see. Let's keep an 
eye on this shit. Let's not get shot. Alright. Now, the last thing that can really, really go rotten is now grabbing a car at the brewery and getting to the prison. So this is the last really shitty hurdle to get over. But welcome guys to the last, what would it be, 15 minutes of the game? Something like that? I hope you're enjoying the run. I can tell you I am. I had a little bit of bad luck here and there, but not too much. That's why our time is so nice right now. Right. So, uh, guys, thank you for watching. I really appreciate the support and your interest. All right. Let's see what we get if we do a grenade over there just to attract their attention somewhere else. We want to have some peace and quiet around us. May we grab this fucking car. Because if we get shot up too much at the very beginning, this thing ain't gonna do us any good. But it seems we were capable of tricking them into directing their attention elsewhere. Alright. Hopefully we don't get shot up by a grenade launcher boat that's in the water over there, because that could still happen. There's multiple. So... And now, there is only a patrol car I know of that could really fudge us over. Alright. So hopefully... Hopefully we're lucky for a change. Good so far. Good so far. Seems to be... Don't shoot up my car too badly. Alright. Seems to be going fine. Perfect. Well guys, welcome to the ending of Far Cry 2. Once I enter the uh, prison, there is no more returning to the open world. We only have this last section of the map to go. So welcome guys. Enjoy the last Come here. I think ten minutes? Something like that. So far so good. The civilians are gone. Most of them have already crossed the border. An entire country is about to disappear. They're in the way. We can't do our work if they're here. We have to isolate this disease so we can destroy it. I need you to do two things. There's a landing zone a click due east of here. The arms merchant is there with another briefcase full of diamonds. He's waiting for a chopper. He thinks he can get out of here. They're my diamonds, mine. I need them for the border troops, so you get that briefcase for me. Understand? And there's the APR and the front. New guys in charge, and you put them there. They're together in one camp, now making their goddamn master plans. They know you, don't they? You could walk right into their bivouac and they'd let you, wouldn't they? Once you're in, you can kill them both any way you'd like. Think of the possibilities. You know, people back home say they want to help. Every day I hear it, in the paper, on the radio. But they're lying. They're not ready to do what's necessary. They wear their halos and they stand by wringing their hands. You and me, we found a way. Meet me at the border when you're done. You're the only one who can do this. Alright, let's get it on! Last bit of running. And it's nice how it's a run. In this speedrun. To end the speedrun. Now there's one menu that pops up here that you want to click away as quickly as possible because if you don't think about it, it just could save cost you a second or two thinking, oh, what the fuck is this? And we want to keep all the seconds we can save. Everything we can muster. Alright. Now the only problem is that we arrive at this area during the day, so his stamina is 
depleting far quicker, or far, much faster than if it were nighttime or evening or early in the morning. But there, in the heat of the day, he has kind of a problem. Are we just gonna keep running? Keep shooting up on some heroin? Take two steps at a time. One step forward and two steps back. Alright. Just run around here. Is this a new world record? Well, yesterday I died in a minute. Over there I died. So, we don't know if this is a new world record. I haven't finished it yet. Are we watching history in the making? It could be, man. It could be. But maybe I did fudge up the timer and everything we're looking at is just a lie. Let's just make use of this beautiful apparatus. Because these people here, they're really fucked up. Let's see if we can go through the bushes. This is horrible. They killed me yesterday. We were also at a beautiful time. Not as beautiful as this time. Okay, perfect. Let's just run. Budgems. All right, nice. We got past the point that I died yesterday, so this is already a progress, guys. This is an improvement. So we're on our way to getting the best time that I've ever had. I mean, we still haven't had our malaria attack. I've been playing. Smile. Fudgems. Please run. Alright. Still have full health, so that doesn't matter. Alright. If anything. Wait, I've been playing Smile while watching. Alright. I don't know that game. Alright. If anything, your time will be better, right? Because the timer didn't pause a couple of times. Smite. Smite, okay. I, I don't know smite either. <laughs> Smile. Yeah, hey, I'm trying to also focus on the game here, guys. I'm really sorry I mess up sometimes. We still have full health. What the heck. Alright, now let's go and chop one of our buddies in the chest. Um, but yeah, the time should be better. It's definitely better, but... The, the proof we have at the end is the statistics screen anyway, which I show just after I stop the timer. And if that is faster than three hours and two minutes in game, then we know that we beat our own record. I've got the diamond. And now you're here. Yeah, fuck you, bitch. Trying to fuck me over, huh? Fuck you, people. Alright, now let's just run because we don't have time for this. Ain't anybody got time for that. Just get the heck out of here. Alright. Now the last thing we need to do before we get to the jackal is um, shoot those uh, last few uh, faction leaders that are left. We have 16 shots. We should be more than perfectly fine. Don't. It's a free to play game that makes you mad. Nothing interesting really, no offense. I don't get mad. I win. <sighs> Alright, you wanna have stamina for jumping up this hill. Aha, this rock face. So don't sprint too much to get there. 
Alright, now we just have to make this last mortar fucking shot count. Don't waste too much time on it. We have to kind of stand over here. I kind of use the parallax with these vines to kind of find the place to just shoot over. Wait. Kind of over here. Do we have to go to the jackal? Go to the jackal. Alright. See, because with this one you don't have these subtitles at the bottom of the screen to kind of help you out. To give you an idea of... Um, if you did or did not complete the mission. So I quickly opened the menu just to check if the uh, if the objective changed to going to the Jackal. But it has. So let's go to the Jackal. And grab a car battery and commit suicide. And then I can get to the chat guys because seeing as this is the last few minutes. Let me just quickly keep my focus. So then we can at least say that we have a new world record. And nice, I mean, three days. I haven't played for two weeks. Or I haven't done the speedrun in two weeks. And this is day number three, I think attempt number four. The first attempt, we were one minute behind our record. And I think now we're three or four minutes ahead. Wait. I don't play it at all. In here. Hold that. Give me the briefcase. All right. They're all here. Good. We'll need them. I don't play it at all. It's just my friends yeah, that do. They tell me it's like that. They say that they get bad players on their team every time, and they've had enough. I avoid all three to play games like the plague anyway. Lol, why Warframe is pretty good because they ruin gaming, but that's a subject I'm tired to talk now. All right. Ah. But this is a nice way to wake up to just quickly finish the game in a world record time. I do both jobs myself, but there's not enough time. The only way this is going to work is if we see it the whole way through to the end. Every cell of this cancer has to be destroyed. That includes you and me. If we don't finish this, then the whole mission has been a waste of us. It'll start up again just like it always does. So which one are we taking? Diamonds or dynamite? It's up to you. Dynamites. Alright, now just immediately press backwards and to the left. Is that the left to the right, basically? So we get behind him, and in his animation, it's going to push us out the door so we can already continue walking. Because his speech is going to take a few more seconds. And now his speech is over, basically. Alright, let's get on to suicide. Yeah, and that's the only glitch that I know in this game, basically, that I utilize. Heal yourself before you kill yourself. Alright, let's run. Run ruined? Why? This is any percent, huh? No, not the malaria now. Uh, we should be able to beat the game before we even get malaria here, but okay. Just run, bitch! Before these people actually shoot me dead. Before we get there. Alright. Perfect. Well guys. Welcome to the ending. We're not going to heal ourselves from anything anymore. Just die with malaria. Who cares. And welcome to the ending of Far Cry 2. Done in a uh, world record time guys. We definitely got a few minutes off. Alright. Time. Or split, however you want to call it. Nice! Less than three hours. So we, we got like two and a half minutes off, I think. What do we have here? Exactly three minutes less. Nice! Nice! Well, guys, well, thank you for, uh, for joining in. Thank you for joining in um, 
on this uh, world record. I'm really glad we got this. This is a much better time. I'm, I'm really happy that we got the in-game timer below three hours. I'm really happy with this. I'm also glad that the changes in the uh, in, 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 in the run actually got me three minutes less. And I mean, we, we still had some bad luck. Cool, cool. Hey, thanks everybody for watching. It's really nice to have some audience. I hope you guys enjoyed the run.